Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure AD Connect. In the last video, I have shown you how to synchronize objects from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. We discussed types of sync cycles, how we can initiate Delta and initial sync cycle. I have shown you how to check connector space for each connected data source and how to search objects within Metaverse. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is Azure AD Connect Sync Scheduler. I will be explaining all the attributes of Sync Scheduler, and I will be showing you practically how we can configure Sync Scheduler attribute using PowerShell commands. Any change that we do within Active Directory, these changes are synchronized to Azure Active Directory using Scheduler. Azure AD Connect Scheduler is responsible for two tasks. It runs sync cycles like import, synchronization, and export. And the second task is to maintain and renew the certificates and keys for password reset and device registration service. By default, Scheduler runs every 30 minutes. That means if you do not run a sync cycle manually, Every 30 minutes, a sync cycle will run automatically. By running get ad sync scheduler command, we can list all the attributes of sync scheduler. So let's discuss these attributes one by one. The first attribute is allowed sync cycle interval. This is the minimum time interval for the synchronization cycles, which is allowed. That means we cannot decrease sync cycle interval below 30 minutes. The minimum interval which is defined by Microsoft is 30 minutes. The second attribute is currently effective sync cycle interval. This attribute will show what is the sync cycle interval that is currently in effect. That means if you have customized this interval, you will see that value here. For example, I have customized sync scheduler to 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes. So in my environment, every 45 minutes sync cycle is running. The third attribute is customized sync cycle interval. If you want the scheduler to run at a different interval than 30 minutes, which is the default value, you can configure this setting. For example, if your requirement is that sync cycle should run every 40 minutes or 50 minutes, in that case, you can customize this by running set hyphen ad sync scheduler hyphen customized sync cycle interval. And here you will give it a value. For example, 40 minutes and press enter. So this way you can customize the sync cycle interval. Now, if we verify the changes, we can see here customized sync cycle interval has been reset to 40 minutes. So as per this warning, it says we have made changes within the sync cycle interval, but these changes will take effect once you will run a full sync cycle. After that, these changes will be in effect. The fourth option that we are going to discuss is next sync cycle policy type. This value defines what type of next sync cycle will be. This will be a delta sync or an initial sync. If this value is set to delta, that means when an automatic sync will run, that sync type will be delta sync. And if this value is set to initial, then the next sync cycle value or the next sync cycle type will be full sync or initial sync. If you want to set this value to initial instead of delta, then commands will be set hyphen ad sync scheduler hyphen next sync cycle policy type initial and press enter. So once it is completed, let's verify the changes. So here we can see next sync cycle policy type has been set to initial. 
the next attribute is next sync cycle start time in utc this attribute shows the time when next sync cycle will run whenever a sync cycle will run automatically you will see the time here it will show you what time the next sync cycle will run and this time is in utc standard time the next option is purge run history interval this value shows for how long the operation logs will be kept within synchronization service manager if we go to synchronization service manager on this screen you can see these logs where you see import synchronization and export cycles so as per this attribute it says purge run history interval this value is set to 7 days by default so that means after 7 days these logs will be erased from here the next attribute is sync cycle enabled this attribute indicates if the scheduler is running if this value is set to false that means scheduler is disabled and it will not run sync cycles if you want you can disable sync cycle manually you can run set hyphen ad sync scheduler hyphen sync cycle enabled and dollar false so we disable sync scheduler in case we are making any changes within the filtering we are creating synchronization rules or the server is under maintenance in those scenarios we disable sync scheduler or sync cycle manually so if you will run this command this will disable the sync cycle the next attribute is maintenance enabled this attribute shows if the maintenance process is enabled on the azure ad connect it updates the certificates or keys and it purges the operation logs so by default you will see true value under this attribute the next attribute is staging mode enabled this attribute shows if staging mode is enabled on this particular server or not if this value is set to true that means this server is running on staging mode staging mode is it doesn't run export cycle it will run import and synchronization cycle but it will not run export cycle and no changes will be synchronized from active directory to azure active directory the next attribute is scheduler suspended this attribute indicates if scheduler is disabled during azure ad connect upgrade the next attribute is sync cycle in progress this attribute will show you if a sync cycle is currently running or not if this value is set to false that means there is no sync cycle that is running currently and if you will see a sync cycle running within synchronization service manager in that case this attribute will be set to true In the next video I will be discussing what is declarative provisioning. I will be discussing how synchronization rules are designed, what are the components of synchronization rules, and then I will be discussing what is sync pipeline. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and please share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.